Hey, everybody. Hi. And Heather remembered something today. <gasps> this is actually a miracle. <laughs> it is days. a Christmas miracle. I'm telling you, a and, and actually, considering what it is, it is a Christmas miracle. But I have a hard time remembering anything anymore. It's kind of just like one thing to the next, like survival of right. the day. Right. You've got a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. let's show them. I brought my ornament in. It's only Thursday. I was supposed to bring it out on Monday. It's fine. Jill's not mad at me at all. Okay, so this is my, my Christmas ornament. And I told you that uh, every year, Frankie mm -hmm. and I will have whoever's trimming the tree to just take a little sliver and we keep it for our own Christmas ornaments. And this one, I'm blocking it with my finger, is from 2008. I love this. When I, you mentioned this is an idea, I think this is so unique. So you have one for every year. Yes. So I believe this is the first year that we that we decided to start doing this. So this is from 2008 when we were living in Brooklyn, and I remember how expensive Christmas trees were. We because we our parents had always bought a Christmas mm -hmm. tree, so we had never actually purchased one. So we went to buy one, and we thought, how much? <laughs> So, so you wanted to save some of it. Yes, make it worth your Forever. while. Yes. So we no, I think this is yeah. such a neat idea, and I bet other people will start copying you now because it's, it's a such a cool tradition. thing. Yeah. yeah, and eventually we'll find something better than a bent green hook. Hey, no, it works. It. But hey, it, it works. works for now. Yeah. So we'll hang that on our Christmas tree, our yeah. PTL tree. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a big day for people who love Disney World yeah. because they're open or Star Wars because they're opening something new today that has been much talked about. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the most interactive kind of ride. I shouldn't even call it a ride. It's an experience at, at, at Disney World, and it is opening at uh, Star Wars Land at Hollywood Studios. It's called Rise of the Resistance. Yes. <laughs> You're ready for this. It seems powerful, doesn't it? Rise it does. of the resistance. And and so there are holograms, and they really try to transport you into the middle of this battle that's mm -hmm. going on. And there's three different sections to it, uh, but it opens officially today, and then they're going to open in California a similar ride. Right, and this is in Hollywood Studios, and Hollywood Studios, I feel like, is very much geared towards Star Wars. I mean, you could see the stormtroopers kind of walking through. Yes. So it's perfect place. Yes, for you get it. out of their way when they come walking through. So I feel like my biggest complaint <laughs> with rides too is. That they're so short. I mean, some claim to go so fast that it's over in a minute. Yeah. You know, this is 18 minutes long. It's 18 minutes long. If you're not enjoying the battle, you're in trouble <laughs> because you're in there for 20 minutes. All right. <laughs> Which at least you're getting your money's worth. Yeah. Right? Which is, you're getting your money's you know, worth. Something. All right. Something you have been excited about. I've all been waiting week. to do this all week, and we keep running out of time, so okay. we're doing it now. So you got a gift, very special. <laughs> I got a gift. gift. Yeah, Teresa Rivers, uh, my friend, got me this. She knows me very, very well. It's the Golden Girls trivia game. Any way you slice it. So I, I am anxious to play this, and of course, because I talk about how I watch the Golden Girls, and you know, I'm ready. Hopefully, I'll do well. I don't know. Okay, but, here's what I don't understand. Is this just? The coasters are for what? Your wine? I don't or know. What are these Maybe for? they're for your wine. You I don't know. But you there's little, there's playing cards. Like you can be Blanche, you can be Sophia, you can be Dorothy, you can be Rose. Okay, so, so. you gave me these cards and you right. said read them ahead of time. Right, read them ahead of time. Because some of them are a little dirty. Well, I don't know if they're dirty. I just was thinking sometimes the show can be a little on the raunchy side. <laughs> You and I watch completely different things. Okay, so I picked some of these. They are not raunchy all right. at all. Okay, I'm They're very tasty. I'm ready for, for my TV. Golden Girls test. Okay, when the girls entered a bowling tournament, who was the only one dressed differently? Uh, oh, crud. I think it was uh, Dorothy. Yes. Yes! Okay. <laughs> now, I can't tell you if this is raunchy or not. I'm not sure. Okay. We're going to go with no. Who called Sophia a raisin in sneakers? Dorothy. That's, that's not raunchy, is it? No. no it, it wasn't Dorothy? <laughs> no. It was Blanche. It was Blanche. Okay. Oh. I wasn't sure what that meant. <laughs> okay. Which Golden Girl claimed to have 56 boyfriends in one year? Uh, Rose. Yes. That you was are a right. trick question because everyone would think it's Blanche, but it's Rose. I'm going to ask you one more. Okay. And I know that you're going to get this right. <laughs> I'm so good at this. <laughs> While each main actress eventually won an Emmy for her role, which actress won first? Uh, Betty White. That is correct, sir. Ah, uh, what do I win? <laughs> Some more Nothing. time watching TV land. Okay, all right. Congratulations. All right. Yeah, fun game. Thank you, <laughs> Teresa Rivers, very much. I want to come over and drink Cosmos and play this game with <laughs> okay, you. Okay, we'll just, do that. Just, I'm That's just going to quiz you. Okay, all right. That would be fun. <laughs> all right, we have been on Jason Momoa Watch. And it's funny because 
I have talked to so many people who keep bumping into him in I random know. places. He's all over the place he now. He really is. Yeah, so the latest picture that we got sent to us was actually a former KDK employee, mm -hmm. Sue McKelvey. She's at Harp and Fiddle in the Strip District, and I talked to her yesterday about this. She looks over, she thinks, is that Jason Momoa in the corner? And sure enough, when he gets up to leave, she stops. And I love the caption that she wrote for this picture. My husband was there, too. <laughs> my boyfriend's there, oh, boyfriend, too. Yeah, yeah, my boyfriend's there, too. But it's me and Jason Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday I'm talking with someone who says he's at 11, the restaurant in the Strip District yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to Selena this morning and she was working at the Pens game last night and she met him. It's almost like there's two of them. Right, they're all How over. can he be everywhere? So I went on there to is at the Jason Penguins Momoa's game. Instagram page. This was on his stories. If you, okay. if you watch the stories on Instagram, he posted this, Steel City Squad. So he's with... Uh, Devin Bush, uh, Devlin Hodges, mm -hmm. the duck, and uh, uh, Musgrove, uh, Joe Musgrove, thank you, from the Pirates. So he was hanging out. That's and, awesome. And then the long so they just go the around. Steelers, I forget his name. So is this a group that is now like going around Pittsburgh together? I don't know. Because that's a very cool club. But they were having some fun at the Pens game last night, so that's Kind of fun. You know, it's Pittsburgh cool Dad that. is having fun too. Yes. He's though, he's in California. He's in Hollywood. And take a look at this picture. And it raises some questions. So Pittsburgh Dad, obviously on the set of Price is Right, obviously next to Drew Carey there, a mm -hmm. Cleveland guy, so that's a little ironic. But the question is, is he a contestant? He doesn't have a name tag. We don't know yet. We're trying to find out. I, I was all over his Facebook page, Pittsburgh Dad's Facebook page, trying to figure out. Yeah, why I know. he was there. I know. I saw the picture of him and his crew on the plane mm -hmm. heading out there, but like, what's the deal? Are yeah. they taping special Pittsburgh Dad episode, maybe? We don't know. Also, is Drew Carey morphing into Bob Barker? <laughs> That is yet to be determined. We shall oh, find boy. out. <laughs> yes. Is he? I don't know. I feel like they're slowly becoming the same person. Maybe that's what happens when you host The Price is Right. You end up looking like Bob Barker. It just it happens. It just happens <laughs> over time. All right. Well, we want to mention uh, something that if you want to plan ahead, you can do that. Maroon 5 mm -hmm. is coming to the Pittsburgh area. They announced this yesterday. They announced their summer tour, and they're going to Key Bank Pavilion, Adam Levine and the whole crew, Friday, June 19th. To Tickets go on sale next week. And listen to this. Megan Trainer will open for that band. I've had that song stuck in my head. I know. All that's day such now. a good song. Um, <laughs> I know Ron Smiley this morning was already on the website trying to get tickets. He thought that you may be able to buy them early. So I have to find out if he actually was successful in doing that. Because right. we were told next week. We'll check in with Ron. So, and we want to say congratulations to a beautiful dog from Western Pennsylvania. Yeah, this is such a cute dog. This is a dog from Ligonier Township. Mm -hmm. His name is Daniel, and he won Best Sporting Dog at the National Dog Show outside Philadelphia. Now, he didn't win Best in Show, but he has won that many times before. 19. 19 times. In fact, his owner, Tammy Tomlinson of Hillock Golden Retrievers in Ligonier, says he is the winningest Golden Retriever in the United States in the past 35 years. How about that? Yes. And he is going to the Westminster Dog Show in February, so good luck. Good luck to him. And yeah. to the owners, yeah. Congratulations, too. All right, well, we want to talk holidays because we are counting things down to Christmas, to Hanukkah, to Kwanzaa. We've asked you to send in your pictures of your favorite ornaments to the mm -hmm. Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page. We're going to get to that in just a second. But first, we want to show you what they've done at Angelo 2's again so in Monongahela. Neat. Holy cow, they go all out. You saw before Halloween how they had decked out the, the, the restaurant there. But look at this, giant Santa, sleigh on the roof. Uh, this is from Mon Valley Drone because you really need to get up into the air to see the whole thing. It's beautiful. And I really wonder how much time it took, how much effort to put all this stuff up there. Yeah. And a lot of people, you would think, ladders, I, I, fire they, trucks. They probably, I don't know maybe they fire do. trucks. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. All right, well, let's get to the ornaments yes. that you have sent in because we have a whole list that we want to share. And we're going to begin with Carol Ann. This uh, ornament is from her parents' Christmas tree in 1950. Uh, and, or no, I'm sorry, this is Betty Ann, mm -hmm. the first one today. And you see the red bulb there. Her dad painted her name on this in the 50s. He got the bulb where he worked in Charleroi. He passed away in 94, but she treasures this and the clothespin reindeer made by her kids. Awesome. Yes. And next up is Carol Ann. She sent us 
us this from her parents' first Christmas tree in 1950. It was meant to be put over a light and the heat would make it spin. Yeah, I remember my grandparents had one. Something like that, like that yeah. Anita Ferris sent us this one. This belonged to her dad, who was a veteran and oh. loved the United States, and she says loved anything that had the American flag on it, so she treasures it. And Chris sent us this one. It's a picture of her son, Mitch, who has battled Ewing sarcoma this year. He's getting his final treatment this month. The ornament uh, with the ribbon was made by May Street Designs, and we wish Mitch and his family the very best. We certainly do. Yes. All right, Anthony sent us this. He says it is from he and his wife's first Christmas. Aww. It's his favorite because he says, listen to the points he's going to score with this. He couldn't imagine his life without Aww, her. They've been married goodness. nine Aww. years now and have two kids. Congratulations to them. It's a great picture. Aww, that's fantastic. I love that. And he does win some some brownie points. Yeah, for absolutely. That one. Good job. Well, don't forget, um, <laughs> tomorrow is our Friday free for all. So we posted on Facebook. Please send in your questions. We love to answer as many as we can. Yes. In the first couple answer, minutes of the show. Yeah, as many as we can possibly get to. Selena says she'll answer anything. Anything at all. Anything. And Ron is always up for a good question. That's true, too. He gets the <laughs> most bizarre ones. But we love <laughs> we'll it. We'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs>